Hi, this is John, and welcome back to my channel. So listen, today I'm talking to you about a really, really intense technique called negative accentuated repetitions. So if you find that you're a little bit burnt out on your regular repetitions and you're looking for a fun way to really intensify those workouts and raise the intensity or that hit to the muscle to get a deeper signal sense to it, stimulating it to grow, of course, that's what we want. When it comes to your legs, it's a little bit more challenging to do negative, regular negative repetitions. However, there's a technique called negative accentuated repetitions, and that one, my friends, we are going to use today. You can use it on leg extensions, leg curls, calf raises, anything that's usually involving a machine where the arm is fixed so it's not going to sway off to the side. Because what we're going to do is we're going to lift the weight with two legs and then lower it with just one. Now this works really good, especially on calf raises. I'm going to do for you today toe presses on the leg press machine. You're going to see me going at it. I get mm, eight or ten repetitions on this one particular set on my right leg and then I go ahead, I rest about a half a minute and I knock it out on the left leg. The, the protocol is lifting with two, removing one foot off the pad, and by the way, this is using a weight that is 75% of what I could normally lift for 10 repetitions with two legs. So you get it? It's a pretty heavy weight for one leg to handle, right? So I go with it, up with two, down with one. The first repetition comes down in a few seconds. I'm fighting it the whole way. Each repetition after that gets successively faster and faster. That is because the muscle is failing on each repetition. So, being honest about it, the last couple of reps are going to be, oh, redlining it. They may be a little bit dangerous, so I have to keep that foot close to the pad. And at the end of the set, to intensify it even further, I knock out a few more partial reps in the mid-range using my support leg as protection and keeping it in the middle of the range just to push that muscle a little bit faster. Let's see what it looks like, okay? I hope you enjoy. All right, here we go. I'm working my right calf first. And you'll see it takes about three, four, five. It takes four or five seconds to lower those first few reps. And then with each one, literally, you can count down to three, then two, then one second right near the end of the set. I'm coming up with two legs really hard keeping my left foot there for safety. My right leg and knee, I'm keeping straight, driving hard, resisting against the weight. And as the muscle's starting to fail right here, I'm getting up around 12 reps. I'll work some quicker reps and then some little partial reps in the mid range at the very end before switching to my other leg. So right here, I'm not letting it overstretch anymore, just for safety reasons. And you see <laughs> my nervous system's getting all out there. And then the left leg, the same thing. I'm knocking these out, driving hard with my right to help. I end up matching just about the same number of repetitions, 11 or 12 really good negatives under total control. And again, I'm using 75% of the weight that I could use with both feet for 10 or 12 reps. And I'm just driving hard with that 75% with the one foot and the one calf. So as it's speeding up right here, I'm getting up to that same 11, 12 repetition range. And then notice after the full repetitions are done, I shorten it up and just stay in the mid range and let my right foot pump it a few times to really intensify it on my left calf. It's coming right here and you see, boom, 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 and then it And there you have it. Negative accentuated repetitions done on the calf press machine for your calves. And boy, I'll reiterate to you, don't kid yourself. Give it 100% effort. Be careful, do not do too many sets, okay? I keep it down to one all out set when I do those negatives. When you do that, be prepared because the next day you may be really sore in those muscles and it may last a few days. But again, I'll reiterate, it tends to go away faster than regular soreness does with regular workouts. 
So that's it from today. From my heart to you, John Hart, get those calves, get those negative accentuated repetitions and enjoy those workouts. Remember to hit the subscribe button below and feel free to comment as well.